Hey guys, I um, wanted to share with you a message that I got, some in prayer, some in dreams, uh, kind of a combination over the past couple days, but these are the scriptures. It's Isaiah um, 9, 6, and 7, for under us a child is born, unto us a Savior is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of the of this government and the peace there is no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish without judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Matthew 11, 28, and 29. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There's a reason why I put this title out there, Trust, because our trust has gotten skewed, guys. We're trusting in everything but the blood of the Lamb, but God's perfect plan, but His Son for the redemption of mankind. Just look around, guys. Honestly, that's why I put it. Is your trust in the government? Is your trust in the media? Is your trust in the church? Are the pastors or the ministers or just all the different people? Matthew 28 and 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly. Come unto me. Come on. Come out from amongst them. Wet marriage supper of the Lamb. Come to the wedding. The feast is prepared. Come on. But the world is demand, 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 demand. The internet, you turn it on, Google, click on any ad, something you want to read, and you can, it, the screen, it seems like it's shrunk and shrunk and shrunk because there's so many pop ups and ads and just stuff demanding your time and your attention and. Your cell phone bleeping and banging and blanging cars and just. And then you go to church and it's demanded to be a servant, demanded to do this, and you got to serve, and you got to do this, and you got to do that, and you got to listen to this band, and you got to listen to this preacher, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. And the world demand that we accept abortion, and that is taking babies' lives. They're a lot more brutal than that, guys. Demand that we do the LGBT thing and everything's okay. Demand that we lock down and don't go to church or assemble ourselves. But you can go to Walmart. You can't go to church. Six foot rule, you can't even do that. But you can go to Walmart and walk down the fruit aisle and everybody's picking up fruit. And looking at it and they don't like it so they pick up a different one and their kids are where are their hands been guys come on they didn't even buy at the start of this they didn't even barely buy sanitizer for their employees they didn't be have put it out they put a little bit of hand soap or whatever it is out cheap greedy where's your trust it needs to be in the King of Kings. That's why he said that. He's the King of Kings. A Savior. A child was born. A son is given. And the government shall rest on him. Aren't you tired, guys? Aren't you laboring? Isn't everything seeming int seemingly intense? Well, I want you to learn of him. But we're not going to learn of him, guys. All this vain debate, 
like I said, it's like earlier, it's on one of the messages, like a whack-a-mole. Boom, 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 boom. Devil out, the devil's everywhere, and he is. But so is God. So is Jesus. So is the blood of the Lamb. More than sufficient. But he's trying his best, but through the natural. Last two months ago, a little bit, if you would have said coronavirus, no one probably even probably knew what you're talking about. It was on the news a little bit, so they might have a little. Now it's like the pandemic is all the trash and garbage that goes with it. Are you going to put your trust in the same government that told you to lock down, tells you some clerk that doesn't even hardly have a title, and all of a sudden they're in Chicago and they're a big name because they said they barked on the news. If you go outside, we're going to arrest you and throw you in jail. Some of them are even saying they're going to find you. They're doing it all over the place, guys. Sorry, my computer battery is kind of going a little bit low. Um, I'm going to go charge it after this message. Um, so, where's your trust? That's why it says in, in Proverbs 3, 4, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean down on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. Guys, like I said in one of my other messages, our understanding, we're still trying to figure out who shot JFK. Ask anybody. It's everything from something that makes kind of sense, to the CIA did it, to crackpot conspiracy theories. We're still trying to figure out, did Hillary Clinton dump 30,000 or 33,000 emails? Did she do it on purpose? Did she not? All this other mess. It's a distraction, guys, from the enemy. And he's doing it in the natural. About eight months ago, that's why I put that out. Isaiah 60, arise and shine. But, no, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. That's why I put out Isaiah 27 and 1. I got that in prayer, guys. I didn't even really know that scripture. Honestly, I'd never, I probably might have read it. Probably not. I don't know. It just wasn't on my radar. And I was praying about it one day about somebody at our church that the car broke down and they had to go work extra hours at a restaurant. And it was just a young kid, but it was like, man, it's pretty, you know, like proud of the guy, you know, because like, man, he just, you know, buckled down and did what he had to do to get his car fixed. But it was in a natural. But then I started seeing divorces and churches splitting up and just different things and all the twisted upness of stuff that people were saying and just. But it was all in the natural. Money problems, unemployment, way before the coronavirus came. And I said, well, Lord, what's going on? I asked him that. He said, God, Isaiah 27, 1. Gotten twisted, guys. That serpent. But it says, the sword of the, the, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a sword and cut the head off. The sword of the word, guys. Who, where's our trust at? <clears throat> In your stimulus check? And that's nothing, guys. It'll be spent before the ink even dries. It's fake money to begin with. But they don't have it. We don't have it. It's just, it's a scam. It's a trap door. We're being duped by the government, guys, because it's part of the mark of the beast trying to usher in, step in. We're going to get it at 5 a.m. Because that's what the Lord told me. To tell people to start praying. Tell the nation to start praying at 5 a.m. Meet me there. See you there tomorrow. When I poke my head off the door, my address is 3108. Yours is different. But this is where two or more gather together in my name. Let's get together on our knees as a nation, guys. You're not going to get it from me. I, yes, you are going to get some. I'm a watchman. You're going to I'm gonna get some from you, from the other body of from the believers in the body of Christ. Of course. That's why we gather together some, too, because I do get strength in that. I'm not saying don't gather. What I'm saying is you're going to get it straight from your source. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. Ask Him. That's my favorite thing to do nowadays. Jesus, what would you do? I don't know. I'm lost. 
God, what would you do? I'm lost and I'm done. Can't figure this out. Don't have a clue. Here it is. It's me, Lord, Messy Marvin. Guys, it is time that we really put our trust in him. Not the government, not our neighbors, not our job, not a church building, ministry. Hey, look, Google used to be full of them. Now there isn't any of them on there. I mean, on Facebook or YouTube, hardly a couple couple good ones that are still out there doing stuff and men doing stuff. The vast majority of them, no. Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be found. Back hiding. Actually, they probably like the internet idea of it because they don't have to jack with people and their problems and their issues and things of life that a pastor has to take care of. They want the, they want the title, all right, and the money and the glory and the power. They don't want anything else. No value. How the world's been. Non-essential. No more servants and slaves, guys. That's what he told me. We're not no longer going to be servants and slaves. We're sons of the king. He's the king of kings. Rests upon him. But you got to learn of him. And you're not going to learn of him. With all this bleeping and stuff. And every kind of device you can think of. Tablets and computers and cell phones and <clears throat> jobs and stuff. That's why the 5 a.m. is so important, guys, because there's nobody up hardly. It's quiet. My household is pretty quiet. My wife sometimes, she'd be getting up now. She used to all the time, but now she's getting back up again. And But we were a separate place to pray, and then we get together and pray. She loves to pray in the garage. She's got a little place set up out there. She loves it because the sun's coming up, and she just, just her private place. Mine just happens to be in the living room. I love that, too, so. But I could pray wherever, you know, in the back room or wherever, office. <coughs> so, what are we trusting, God? The arm of the flesh? Or not? He told me it's time to prepare for a woman in with this. And he said, we're going to need three things. We need a spear, the sword, and a plow. The spear so that we can be the tip of that spear and pierce the darkness and let the light of Christ shine forth in it and cut through this garbage that's all around us. The sword is the sword of the word. The spirit is the word. It said it cuts, dividing even asunder, even to the, to the marrow of the bone. It, it just... And the third one, the plow, so we can plow up and break up that stony ground. I'm going to end with this, guys. This is another one of my messages, but it's very imperative and important, too, because it all ties in. Matthew 20, 21, and 22. Read them. It ends with what I'm talking about, the marriage supper lamb. Come, the wedding prepared, feast is prepared, table set before us in the presence of our enemies. He, but he picked the menu, he picks the place, he picks the time, he picks the dress code. It's got a robe of righteousness for us. Read the end of it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got allergies. Um, one guy tried to come in without a robe on. Got kicked out, threw it out. But look what happened to the people that took it lightly at the beginning. Just kind of ignore God. They just ignore the calling. Read Matthew 20. He wants us to go into the fields and labor, but he's but the but the pay is equal and the same. Because we're all equal in God's sight. I don't care if you're the doorkeeper and it's a homeless guy at the church or the senior pastor with a million people, not not today, but we're a senior pastor with a million people in your church. It's the same. You gotta get it the same way in the only not the theology. Not your head knowledge. You think you figured it all out. It's with this guy. It's your heart. Whatever side it's on. <clears throat> Not your head. So who are you going to trust? 
then 21, the stone the builders rejected. Christ, the co chief cornerstone, rejected them guys. Not listening to them guys. Not paying attention to the blood of the Lamb, to the baptism of the Holy Ghost, to the repentance, to the none of it. How did we get to where we're at? If we were such a powerful, great nation, on God we trust. Put it on an idol, guys. The Almighty, why do we call it the Almighty Dollar? Why do we call it Cash as King? Why is there that weird pyramid on there with the eyeball that people say is Illuminati or whatever? The conspiracy crackpot stuff, and some of it's true, but some of it's not. Just another distraction from the enemy. We're not gonna hoodwink God on, the, guys, God on this one, guys. We're not gonna be able to slap a label on it, call it Christian. People are selling Christian face masks with a scripture on it. That's not Christian. That's not Christ-like. That's not believing in the blood of the Lamb. And His blood is sufficient to keep you to keep you from the virus. And if you do perish with it, there was a preacher that perished with it. It was on the internet, and doctors got saved, gave their life to Christ because of it. It wasn't his, his death. It was how he lived and how he died. With his faith intact. And his trust in the living God. They turned them to their knees. Sad? Yes. I'm sure he probably had you know, a family, might have had a family. I don't remember reading the whole, I didn't read the whole article. I just had heard about it. <clears throat> Sad. Heartbreaking a little bit. Yes, of course. Death always is. This, but it's of the natural. <clears throat> and then the last one is the marriage supper of the Lamb. So don't take it lightly, guys. Because it's not light. Look around. Does it look like to you? Everybody's like, oh, the economy's going to go back. Oh, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. It's just another idol, guys. We didn't, it hadn't changed any. We're putting our, our trust in the money. Trust in the economy. Trust it. And you know what? He's going to take care of his people, okay? I'll give you a hundred testimonies. Here's one small one. I've been kind of burning the candle at both ends and six days a week, 10, 12 hours a day, and I've just wore out. That's why I had to take some time off. My wife was like, man, you just need to take some. And, but I was doing what the Lord told me to do. But he told me to start something with a shoestring budget. Very, very low budget. I'm like, God, you're kind of nuts, but okay. Obedience. Then it started to grow a little bit. Then the coronavirus hit. Some other things hit. And then it was like, man, God, we're kind of running, you know, we haven't had a paycheck since, my wife hadn't had a paycheck since Christmas. Got like all right before Christmas on 21st, 21st of December. Kind of been by faith, you know, so I was like, man, God, but I'm doing what you tell me to do. And but he told me, he said, he's going to do like he did with the Ravens for his people, his people. And it's like, okay. All right, I'll, and I'm seeing it. Not getting it. I don't know. None of you guys sent me a check. There's no skin in the game from you guys. It's not you. I was kind of getting worn out, needing a break. The finances were getting a little thin. I'm destitute, but I mean, they were, you know, it's like, man, God, I kind of need a little bit more cut. You know, and he told me to do something, and I was like, well, God, you know, got this, but I need to do, you know, 10 things with. One, but okay, it was obedient, it was giving something in a monetary way, and I did, and I was obedient that very same morning when I purposed in my heart to do what he told me to do, and didn't, it wasn't that I didn't care, it was I just was being obedient, I was like, man, okay, God, I'm just, I've done too much, too many things. I got a phone call, and I'm getting a pretty good sized check, way bigger than what I thought I was going to get from, from a source I never thought I was going to get from out of the blue. Phone call, 
on its way. Checks in the mail, it already came. Wasn't even looking for that, guys. Didn't say, oh God, I'm gonna do this and I want it and then I know the check. I didn't do any of that, guys. I didn't do any of that. Just the obedience is what he's looking for. Where's your trust? Don't lay it up with where moth and thieves and rust can get it. The money's become an idol, guys. Yeah, we need it. I needed that because of the things he's showing me to do. And I kind of need to grease the wheel on some things and take care of some things and to get some things to, to moving, you know, of course. We all do. I'm not naive. But at the same time, my trust isn't in that. It's in him. So, and the government, my trust isn't in the government, guys. My trust isn't in a it isn't in carrying a gun to the to the state capital either. It's the sword of the spirit. Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality and power and spiritual wickedness in high places. High places, guys. Where might that be? If if let me end with this. If, if because this was the church world, money, 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 money. You know, if you had a lot of money, it was a move of God. If you had a pop, and it's just different people that were smart enough to make it or, or even decent robbers or conniving people out of their money, scamming them out of it. Both. Some of both. If it was that much of a move of God, then why are we barking about Bill Gates? Because <clears throat> he's a billionaire. And of course, he's doing some pretty, probably is sucked up with all those people. That they're it probably, a lot of it's probably true. So, because his, his love of money is his idol. And we're doing the same thing, guys. Oh, the government's going to take care of it. Oh, where's my stimulus check? It's all over the internet. And that even sounds flashly stimulus, stimulate. I'm sorry, guys. It's a trap door for the enemy, for them to take control and to start making laws. You don't believe me? Where are we with the abortion laws? You don't believe me? Where are we with the LGBT laws? You don't believe me? Why did 90% of the world lock itself up? America and seemingly overnight. Proof's in the pudding, guys. Where's your trust? It, it's got to be in him. It's got to be in Jesus. It's got to be in the Holy Ghost. It's got to be in God, the Word. So anyhow, we love you. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, quit trusting in your flesh. And trust in the Lord with all your heart. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will direct your paths. Love you guys. Um, love you guys a lot. Uh... It's always, the gospel is always good news, guys. You have to choose.